Okay, golden mushroom. What the hell is this? Here is golden mushroom. I need gold. Gold. Have one gold, but I get more. Golden frog. Golden seabill. Gold farm. Ah, there we go. Another magic heart. Uh, he actually gave me a hot dog. Okay, I, I actually I, mm, I didn't read the message, but he said, "Ah, oh, if you do this mini game, you got a hot dog." Right here. Here's your gold farm. What is it? And gold farm. What do I need to make the golden stuff? Golden seed bill is 10 gold. Golden frog is 10 gold. Golden mushrooms, 5 gold. How much gold does a. Uh, I don't know. A gold farm. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Oh, there he is. No, oh, never mind. I need to find him more. There he is. Good job. See, that wasn't so difficult at all. Now come home, the party's going to start soon. Okay. So, are you excited for the party? Sure. Awesome. By the way, Sibyl just messaged me that he won't come. He said that he needs to prepare something important. What a workaholic. And on the Animal Mushroom Festival, too. Anyway, go get a shower. You want to make a good impression on your guests, after all. See you in a few hours. A few hours and 27 minutes later. You're late. Oh well, better late than never. Time to introduce you to the guests. You follow me, Dad? No? Nice party! This is a really cool party. But I wanted to meet Seabuild so badly. Seabuild is a busy man, and so are you going to show up? Aww. What's up? Ha ha ha! What? Don't like? Don't look at me like that. I want to tell you a story. Every year during the mushroom festival, someone falls victim to a voracious monster mushroom. It cuts them open, takes out their innards, feeds them, on, feeds on them, and impales its victims' dead bodies with a wooden log. I am not making that up. I got it from Stone Steve. If I were you, I would be very cautious this night. <laughs> Dad! This guy tried to touch me. So, have you been nice to everyone? We need to make the best impression possible. That will really help our reputation. Can't take it away from here on out, though. It's late and you shouldn't stay up for that long. Good night. I don't let the monster get you. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a quick day. Later that night. Oh, the party's still going. You're kidding me. It sent me to, to bed while the party's still going to fend off the monsters. I guess there's a giant killer mushroom now, right? Hello? Okay, so he appears, he jump scares me, and he shows up on the radar thingy, where he might be, and I have to deal with him. 
Hold on, let me recharge. Don't, don't you dare kill me. I mean, if he shows up like that, do I need to to flash him while he's on the side windows? I just closed the window, right? Can we wait? Is it fast enough? I think he is. Let me recharge, come on. It's another robot, by the way. I can sleep. Right? Click on hold to use a watering can. What? What do you mean by that? I don't have I don't have enough water to fend them off and deal damage. This is really difficult. And not in a good way. But it's so fast! I, I I don't have enough resources to deal with everything. I'm dead. Like I don't I just don't have enough. I just don't have enough. Like they need a lot of water to to back off. And I don't have enough to do damage to the guy and to deal away with the motions before I get a lose a half state. This fight is unfair. This fight is un truly unfair. Okay, I found an exploit. There we go. I found an exploit. What can I say? Fuck you. Get out there and do your thing, bitch. It seems like this case is closed. Mr. Fungal built those robots to cause terror at night. Therefore, he's guilty. Sorry for the false accusation, Mr. Chop. Eh, no problem. Get out of line. Feel like I have the wrong person, Mr. Frog Sword. Wait, Betty. You are the only person that ever owned a mushroom robot. I call that 100% proof. There is no doubt that weirdo like you would commit all the, all the other crimes. Mr. Chop, I'll be back soon. Not only am I a cop, but a tax collector too. Now you come with me, Mr. Fungo. Well, would you look at that? Maybe if we are lucky that mushroom head will spin the beans about Scythe Chipper soon. Seems like most things worked out though. Look how happy I am. Look at my grim. You're right. There is work to be done. Probably. 
However, there is one thing that I need you to do before you can dive straight into that wonder into all those wonderful tasks. See, Bill just wrote me a letter that he's terribly sorry for not showing up at the party. I also said that he prepared something during that time, and it'd be worth it. Worth it. He wants you to meet in six feet hundred. What could that mean? Six hundred feet hundred. Go find him and tell me it's really worth missing the party of the century. <laughs> 